Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Northshore Computer Services. What I would like to show you today is a Dell screen that says the AC power adapter wattage and type cannot be determined. Battery may not charge. Press F3 before F1 or F2 if you don't want to see this message anymore. Uh, press F1 to continue or F2 to run the setup. The issue here is the power supply and uh, it's not the computer in most parts. It could be the computer if your power jack is messed up. So let me show you. This particular computer, as you can see, the power jack doesn't go in, I mean uh, power connector and the power supply doesn't go in all the way. <clears throat> there is no visible damage to the uh, power connector. And let me show you here, there isn't a visible damage to the power jack. So everything's okay. What happened with this computer is uh, looks like something, uh, the power supply, this is the power supply was in the bag, and it looks like something got jammed inside of the connector. As you can see, the center pin is bent. That shiny dot in there, that's the center pin. What I will show you is how to get the center pin unbent. On an older Dell and some HP power supplies, the connector was big enough for you to insert tweezers let me see, yeah. Some like this goes inside and you can straighten it out. Let me. Um, on the older uh, power supplies, you can just use the tweezers to straighten out the connector. On these, the hole is too small unless you have really tiny tweezers, in which case the ends of the tweezers are going to be soft and uh, the most likely your ends will bend before you unbend the center pin inside there. I will show you how to get this uh, resolved. Um, it's not going to be for everybody but for somebody who um, wants to do it this can be done. Um, <clears throat> what I'm using is a small tube you can get this at the hobby shops such as Michael's or Hobby Lobby or anywhere. Let me see the size. The size of the tube that I have here is 1.58 outside diameter and the inside let's see. is about 0.5 millimeters okay this is millimeters so to get this tube to do its magic you have to prep the tube a little bit and uh, it's easier to do the drawing so I got my pen and paper here the tube looks like this cross-section of the tube um, so it actually so that's the outside diameter and that's the inside diameter so 0.5 here uh, 1.5 here something like that uh, what we want to do the inside of the power supply uh, this part looks like this. So we have this part, then we have the center pin, and we have the other part. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. When it gets bent, the pin on the inside is crude. This is crude. 
gets bent like this. When it's like that, that's why the um, power supply connector doesn't go in all the way. It has to be flush with the case. So if that's the case for you and you're getting this message, then it's definitely a bent pin. So first we need to dis uh, determine is if it's a bent pin or something worse than that. So if yours goes in all the way, um, then it might be something else. Could be a bad power supply. The center pin is the ID pin. That's what tells the computer what type of power supply is being plugged into it. To get our tool prepped for this tiny, tiny space, what I did was I used a small drill bit to just drill just a little bit to get the angles out. So. What mine looks like right now is like this. Oh, it's a little more. This is what my tube looks like. Not, not like this, not the original, but I cut off a little bit and this allows me to grab the pin, this thing, from its position. So what I do is I put my tube on a pin and I try to grab it to straighten it out. The reason that uh, you need a tube, because the center pin is fairly tough material. Uh, it looks like it's bronze, maybe, maybe some other mix, but it's designed not to be bent easily, but it does bend and it bends more often than you wish. Make sure, number one, to unplug the power supply, prep your tool, and what I'm going to do, see under angle, try and catch the center pin. It will slip. If it slips more, then make the angles on the tube a little deeper. That So if yours is like this, make it like that. Just use a different drill bit, that's all. So drill bit goes like this and takes away some material. That will catch eventually, okay? So once it's caught, let's see. So there it is, mine is caught and just straighten it out just like that. Make sure that your work is proper um, do use a microscope if you have one or a magnification glass if you have one and make sure that it's straight then test it goes in all the way that means the pin has been straightened out let's see if our message will disappear Turn off our computer, plug in the power, turn it back on. No message. Uh, this spinning wheel means that it has passed all its uh, power-up stages. There you go. Hopefully this quick fix helps somebody save a few bucks on the power supply. These things cost anywhere from uh, $50 to $150 depending on the power, availability, um, different factors. If you need one right away and uh, all you have is tweezers, you can try, but most likely you will damage the connector. Uh, best way not to damage is to use a little tube that I have found. I've tried with tweezers. Tweezers didn't quite work. The center pin is relatively tough and doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to bend easily.
So hopefully it helps somebody uh, save some money. If you like it, subscribe, like it, and enjoy, enjoy your day.